Hello everyone, this is CamSauce505 and we're back in Oblivion. We're in Crowhaven and we're gonna go we're gonna go find uh the truth that said that he that uh he was looking for. And there's a wolf right here. <clears throat> Might not be too happy to see us. Wolf's of good hearing, maybe. But can we can we sneak up on him? I'm sorry. There's another one over there. Oh look at this. I'm sorry, puppy. You made me do this. You're not really a puppy. You're his savage ancestor that wants to murder me. Okay. Bring it, bring it. I'll blo go on. Attack me. Hit my shield. Yeah, thought so. Don't even know what to do. I screw up. Should I crouch or should I just go balls to the walls fighting? Um, I think crouching is just fine. We can get our sneak up a little too. So that's good. Hello? He hello? No, we're good. We're good. Nobody even knows. He knows. He knows though. <laughs> that that face. That nah. So angry. Anyway, uh, oh look, coffins. Maybe this is just a resting place. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe it's something more. We'll find out though. Uh, so that's. We're not going there yet. I don't, if, if at all. A rat didn't even see me. I'm sorry, rat. I'm gonna do that. Repair hammer. Oh yes. Just fire. I'll take potions because if I don't need them, if I don't need them. I can just sell them later, which is good money. Yep. Got the mysterious key. Let's just sneak on by. Sneaky sneak sneak. Cast this here real quick before, before we possibly get into a fight. Let's keep on going. Oh, this is misty. This is some misty stuff. There's a person. Do you guys see him? Where you go? There. 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 His movement. Just quickly, quickly, quickly. There. Sweet. We'll go up and confront him. Let's see. Let's see what's happening. Seems to be on the move. And I don't know if we're fast enough to catch up to him. Then it's slice him in his back. So we might just have to go in and fight. We might. Should we? Screw it. I don't even care. Let us. On guard. Your puny little dagger will not murder me. Except that heavy attack might do some damage. Oh crap, uh, we're almost dead. Should probably, probably heal a little. Dude. I'll take one of you, two of you. So I can be sure I can beat him. I have not eaten in decades. You will be my feast. Um, that's not a thing more people say. Um, you have red eyes, which is not good. And no, we have not eaten in decades. Uh, ooh, yes, yes. I was heartbroken when you rejected me. Tell me what I can do to win your heart. I will slay trolls, walk through thorns, fast for a week. Please, 
Don't shut me out of your life. That'll be more than flowers need sunshine. It's nice. Only for a week though, I mean seriously. Just just saying. Could you know, a little longer. Fast for a little longer. Might seem better. And dude. And dude. And I probably should have done that there. But no. And it's you, the middle one. You are such a bitch. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Excuse that. Not worth anything to sell. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read these real quick to see if there's any uh any of these will get my stats up because I forget the no no you know it's good nothing in this chest nothing in there what else is here an overturned thing let's pick this get this gold what you want the journal of Le Leviticus what's his name Leviticus. Leviticus. Oh, well, um, that's a thing. What's this? Like, what? Do you not own any shirts? Jeez. Sleep in your bed for like an hour. Just go. Actually, you know what? Two. Three. Two. Take a two hour nap, you know? Ah, beautiful morning. My luck is 60. Speechcraft, mercantile, illusion. Let's get this. Exit. E exit. Exit. Didn't this happen last time? Or did, or did this just freeze? Okay, no. That, that's really scary. I, f I keep on feeling like it's going to freeze. Anyway. Let's read this. Should I read all of this, or...? Uh... You know what, why not? Story. Fun. It's not really that important to the plot, but whatever. Beauty, pure and sublime. That is the only way to accurately describe my love. The maiden... Gromalog. Hmm. True, the orcs of Tamriel are often... vilified by the other citizens of the Empire, and rarely would they be considered a pleasure to look upon. So with my maiden... Luke Tuv. <laughs> Luke Tuv. A, a rare breed of orc, unlike the rest of her kin in physical appearance. Nay, in fact, she is the perfect representation, re representative of her race. Green skin, muscular frame, and all. A beautiful she is, all the same. For who am I to judge? Who am I to criticize? When so many would condemn my very existence. Oh, this is, this is troubling. I can only hope my love is uh, as understanding when she is when she learns of my unique condition, for I have yet to reveal that most precious secret, most precious of secrets. Oh, seems like Lord Leviticus is a secret, and that he's courting um the champion's mother. Damn the politics of my station, taxation and trade negotiations and meetings with disingenuous aristocrats. It's some it is some it's. Sometimes enough to make me regret my birthright altogether. I spent the latter half of my life hiding my identity, guarding my secret, but now I face with an even greater challenge. For if word were to get out that I have fallen in love with a servant, and an orc no less, I would be but ruined. Such is the life. This is okay. So, Cyrodiil, Cyrodiilic nobleman. I don't know if I'm pronouncing Cyrodiilic right. It looks right. <clears throat> anyway, curse me for a coward, but I have not yet found the strength to tell my beloved Lukatuf the truth. Perhaps it is for the best, for what benefit is there in her knowing. She would share all my fears, but none of my abilities. Her life would become one of doubt and uncertainty. Still, if she is to spend her remaining mortal days with me, she has the right to know the truth. Oh, mortal? So he's, he's immortal. He's some sort of magic creature that's immortal. What could he be? I definitely know the answer, but let's continue this so you guys can try and guess. I mean, you probably you probably have a good guess of it now, or some of you already know, but whatever. Let's continue. Joy and, joy and exaltation. She's with child. My beloved Luke Tuve is carrying my child, the midwife's predicted boy, and we have already settled in the name of Agranac. Such tr in truth, I have never realized such miracles were even possible. 
but the divines have granted us their blessing, and so shall it be. I must wonder, of course, if my dear child will share in my dark gift. Hmm. Only time will tell. What do you know? A dark gift sounds perplexing. <laughs> Tonight the truth will be revealed. I will tell my beloved Luke to everything she will know, who and what I am, and we will decide how to best raise the precious child that grows in her womb. Betrayal! Foul and loathsome harlot! How dare Luke do question my motives? Question the love I have for my own unborn child? When she learned the truth that I, the Lord Leviticus, I'm no longer human, that I have walked Hamriel as a vampire for the past 200 years, how quickly she judged me. So am I a monster? Am I? Perhaps I should even... Perhaps I should have proven her right. Perhaps I should have drained her dry when I had the chance. But I loved her, as deeply as a man has ever loved a woman. And I wanted nothing more than to bring our baby into this world and embrace my new role as father. Perhaps when Luke Tooth has come to her senses, if she refuses to come out of her room, we can have a rational discourse about our future. I do not, however, retain much hope. Imprisoned! Imprisoned in my own home while I slept, Luke Tooth locked me in my own private chambers. She called to me through the door and told me of her plan to escape with our unborn child. She means to keep my baby from me. When I get free, I will find the traitor's whore and rip the child from her very womb. <clears throat> two weeks. Two weeks have passed since my Luke Tube, since Luke Tube locked me in my quarters. Try as I might, I cannot free myself. I cannot breach the doors. If I don't feed soon, I feel I will go mad. Food. Blood. 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 I need it. I need blood. Need. Blood. Ellipses. Anyway. So that's it. That's... <clears throat> Egrenak's father is a vampire. And that's... Some pretty intense news to tell anybody. That you are not your noble birth. Yeah, Can't talk. You are of noble birth, but your father is a vampire. That's, uh... It's gonna be some pretty hard shit to tell him. Do not, do not look forward to this. But I mean, I, I must do what I must. Anyway, um, so this is gonna be the end of this episode. And the next episode, we are going to try and tackle the other vampires that are gonna lie behind that door. So until then, uh, bye.